I got to coach Lem Barney, and I got to co co coach Deion Sanders. They both let the receiver get open. And I would say to Dion, you know, don't let him get so open. He says, if I don't let him get open, I won't get any work. I was coaching Lem Barney. I said, Lem Barney, there's no way he could be that open on you. And Lem Barney looks at me and says, train. They didn't call him night train. He says, train taught me. Let him get open and go steal the ball. In training camp, he's listening to Diana Washington a Motown. Uh, singing Night Train. And he listens to this while they're in training camp all night that nobody sleeps because you have to listen to his music. And that's how he got his name. Lo and behold, he goes to Detroit and he marries her. He's, he's her sixth and last husband. Uh, she marries Night Train Lane as we know. She dies a year later. He marries his, his hero of, the, of singing uh, the right, and I always thought her greatest record was unforgettable, and it maybe was she was singing about her husband. Again, I, Weeb Eubank, is a great football coach, would not allow a great quarterback to throw over there. Just think if uh, people challenged him, it had been 14 plus a, year, plus a season. But after his rookie year, uh, the news was out, stay away and don't even go there. And then for me to coach Lem Barney, who played with him, and we we're trying to win a game at the outdoor stadium in Minnesota. How about that? They actually played outside. And it gets down the last play, and I look in the end zone, and this guy is wide open, and Minnesota's going to win. And here comes Lem Barney and picks it off. And I, game's over. We win. I run to Lem Barney. I says, you can't let the guy get open in the end zone, he goes. The train taught me that's the only way you get to make these plays. <laughs>